Apple just really know how to drop a bomb. So it's late night, I was just enjoying the editing the videos, posting them late night on my YouTube channel, and just then my friend dropped me a message. A student who is now my friend, he dropped me a message that, hey, do you know that Apple dropped two new devices with the new chips? And I was like, there was no announcement, there was no stream, nothing like that. And suddenly Apple just dropped two new devices. And I'm right now recording and editing all of this on the Mac Studio. And I thought this is the best device. Although I have actually crashed it once so badly that I had to give it to the repair center. They repaired it for me and get it. Because these days I am just exporting crazily 4K videos. Although this machine is handling it decently, but I thought there could be an improvement and just then Apple just dropped out. And my this Mac Studio is a beast of a machine and I paid a really premium price for it. And now when I look onto this one that what Apple has released, let me show you on the website. It's available on their website as well. So there is a Mac Pro, MacBook Pro, and there's a Mac Mini. And surprisingly, this Mac Mini is cheaper and is much more powerful than my Mac Studio. So technically, uh, now I can just buy a Mac Mini, which is going to be much more cheaper. And even if I buy a M2 Pro or M2 a Max off a chip, that will produce my 4K videos much more faster. I will be able to upload videos like that. Now, the big question is that do developers need it? If you are a programmer, do you need it? No, not really. If you just get away with a MacBook Air, we have actually tried it. I actually bought a few for my developers for the work that they are doing on upcoming projects. I just bought a MacBook Air for them and they are running simulators on that. Android simulators, iOS simulators, they're working on totally on apps. And it's worked nice. It is working absolutely nicely. Uh, but this is a beast machine. I am thinking that I'll probably try out the M2 Max, but I'll just go for this one. Uh, so if you learn more about on this one, this is one of the beast machine. And look at the pricing. It is so much affordable compared to the Mac Studio. Even it's cheaper than the Mac Mini, Mac MacBook Air. Uh, like it's it's really good. If I'll try, I'll probably try M2 Pro. Uh, it's too much of a gigantic beast. Uh, probably really, if you are into the video editing zone, you can definitely try it out. Do I recommend it for programmers? Nah, not really. I think right now there are a couple of two devices I can recommend for programmers in case you are looking forward to buy and just want to listen to a random person on a YouTube for an advice. Uh, here are a couple of advice I would give you to you. If your work is more on the desktop kind of a thing, you don't like to carry it around, then Mac Mini right now is the best deal. So whenever you can buy, just go for it. You can plug in any kind of monitor, any keyboard. That would be nice. I prefer this kind of a setup. But in case you are a programmer and you're going for it, uh, just simply go for the MacBook Air. This M2 beast, I'm not going for uh, the M1 chip. This Go for this one. Uh, yes, I know. Uh, you might say that comparatively the price is a little bit higher, but I've tried it back and forth on uh, with the Node uh, projects, with the Xcode projects, with the Android Studio project even. I don't think so. There is anything much more taxing than that. If you are looking forward to train your models or something, then obviously you are going to be trained them into the cloud. So uh, everything these days are being uh, worked upon on the cloud. So I think this is still one of the best thing that I can recommend for the developers. But Apple really know how to drop bombs. There was no leak, no rumors, nothing like that. And the announcement is pretty nice. So in case you have watched this, let me know. Uh, what do you think about these devices? And which one are you planning to buy in the comment section? This is just a late night video, just for fun, uh, to share some info that yes, <laughs> two new devices, Apple just dropped them like bombs. So uh, yeah, I'll probably uh, uh, share more thoughts about it once I get them for my new developers, if they will arrive soon. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, one thing I can vouch for you is MacBook Air uh, for M2. It's a really beast for any kind of development work. You can rely on that. And I think uh, one more thing I can add up here as an experience is that the device of M2 or any Apple device that you get, the lifespan of the device is much more as compared to the Windows device that I've seen. And uh, the performance is well, like really the killer one. And you can achieve a lot more out of it. So yeah, I am biased. Yeah, call me that. Uh, but yes, this was a late night, uh, just a quick informatory video. Uh, I hope you are watching it while laying down in your bed. So anyways, I have a little bit more work to do. I'll catch you up in the next one.